Today's a good day because deep down inside, I know you guys actually care about me just a little bit. Because we didn't get some sort of messed up challenge today because in our last video, our top comment was from Aiden or Adina. I don't know. I can't read. Don't hold it against me. But they said that they want me to get the Magnum done and we can upgrade Tombstone to tier five. So that's what we're doing today. I'm not exactly thrilled about uh, upgrading Tombstone, but I'm just glad that we get to actually use some Aether Crystals because sometimes y'all be leaving suggestions and forgetting to tell me to upgrade stuff. What does Tombstone fully upgraded even do? Let's, let's get it leveled up and then we'll check on it. So Shadow Form can regenerate health, increase double down increase down duration to 60 seconds see i told you guys i can't read on death drop a tombstone stash that saves your weapons and equipment and resources that's only good if you're playing with people i think respawn near the end of the round instead of the beginning of the next respawn timer is reduced by 50 percent i guess that's fine but only if you're playing with people and prevent perk decay while down tombstone soda is always lost when down now that tier five is a big load of baloney because i have never seen me keep all my perks while going down i think they mean while reviving yourself with tombstone but also, I don't think that's true. But before we hop in, if you want to leave any upgrade weapon or challenge suggestions, go ahead and leave a comment down below. I'll have a comment down there as well with everything that we've already done. So make sure you check that out first. That way, we don't get any repeats. All right. So for today's challenge, they didn't list any sort of map or attachment requirements. So I'm hyped about that. But apparently, I don't think we've played on Maori Toten at all in this account. Because I streamed earlier getting these magnums leveled up. And we checked out our stats for this account. And I don't... I didn't have any stats from Maori Toten. I didn't say like highest round. It didn't say like how many kills I've gotten on the map. It didn't say anything, which is crazy because I think this might be like the most popular Cold War map, but I think it might be only the most popular to people that don't play Cold War as often. I'm not saying anything bad about this map, but I always see people ranked Maori Toten like really high on their like uh, their map tier list, but it like almost never gets recommended to me like to play on. Like I feel like it's always like fire base C so I can fight Orda or like Forsaken because of the spawn room or just D machine because of uh, how fast rounds can go on. I feel like Mauer kind of gets left in the dust and I, I mention this a lot every time we're on this map, but the time between like Mauer coming out and Forsaken coming out, I feel like it really got overshadowed and this map is just really good. Also something I mention every time we're on here and I have to always mention it is that this poster or this painting has bubbles that come out of it. Okay, that nade was a really bad nade to show that off, but I'm sure y'all have seen it. You know what? I'll stay up here until they drop another nade and I'll do it. Oh wait, there's one right here. That's a decoy. I've been hoodwinked. Now I did decide to go with the akimbo on this and I'm kind of regretting it because I feel like I'm going to get my critical kills way slower. But while we were using these magnums, I was struggling with them anyway. So I feel like two is better than one in terms of killing zombies because this thing is a pea shooter in like every description of the word or definition see I'm, I'm fucking english is so bad for me me and english don't get along we're testing out some weapon leveling methods and by methods we just tried onslaught containment and i was getting level so slow but i got like a decent amount of kills during it like as you can see i'm already at 250 critical kills and we only have 25 this game i think we're already at like 750 eliminations just normally maybe closer to a thousand but we, I know for sure that we have 750 pack-a-punch kills already. But our crits are very low compared to everything else. Like, we need 10 times that. Because I'm really just trying to find the best method to level up these guns as fast as possible with getting as little camo progress as possible. And it still seems like Outbreak's the best way. But here's the painting thing I was talking about. We'll throw a C4 on that. Detonate it. Look, these are all bubbles. That's There's no mistake in it. That's not dust. That's not, like anything else that's for sure a bubble and i don't know why it does that somebody's gonna figure that out years from now and my my sanity will be cured those are three or more crits rapidly we still have those camos to get out at least i just wish multiplayer was faster because it'll be so easy to hop on there get all my camos or my my levels that way without getting any camo progress it seems like multiplayer is the longest way to get anything done i think we can finally start working towards power we got enough money at least i hope so but this map definitely looks the best without power like look at this this is like two colors right now red and black i guess white's there too and a little purple but it's got like the best aesthetic like this has the best zombies feel out of all cold war maps like just look how dark it is in this bar you can't see anything if you don't have your flashlight on like this is the scary map of this game oh no I'm about to go down. I just need this Tempest to die. Please, bro. There we go. Give me that fuse, please. Let's try to race across the tracks before I get run over. Clean. Ooh. And we got a little XP from that. I can't believe that's only the 10th zombie that's died from trains on here. 
actually, wait. I, I thought I haven't played this map before, game. What What is it? Are you going to track stats for this map or not? Or maybe 10 zombies just died in that one train going across, which I doubt. Like, look how sick this room looks without power. I wish this map was kind of like Firebase C, where there's a way to turn power off once you're set up. Because doing a round 100 down here, while the map's all kind of, like, dark and spooky like this, would be fun. I mean, I could try to do it without, like, getting set up, but... I definitely would not be able to. Like, I would get fucked up easily. But we just need this last Tempest to give me this fuse. Come on, dude. Drop it. Oh, I might die here. Yeah, these Magnums kind of suck. But I would much rather do these than some ZRG-type weapon again. Because these might not do any damage, but they have some sort of fire rate. And that's all you need for zombies. There we go. Give me that fuse. And power is re-restored. Is re-restored even a thing? Isn't just restoration like redoing something? You really have to restore something twice? I guess you might if it gets fucked up again. Whatever. Semantics. Let's just go get Pack-A-Punch turned on and make these pea shooters a little bit better. Actually, can we upgrade these at all while we're right here? Can get them green. Any more than that? Nope. And even though we do have two pistols, I'm still gonna grab Deadshot because I don't know if it's an upgrade for it. Or if it's just something that Deadshot does. But I'm pretty sure it helps uh, make hipfire accuracy better. And we're going to need that. Let's go ahead and turn on our, our Pack-A-Punch. Activate it. Get the Disciple going. Like, come on. Look at this Pack-A-Punch, like, initiation thing. And tell me this map ain't sweet. Actually, you know what? Ring a fire on him. Disciple, you can get some too. Oh, thanks for the armor. Idiot. Let's grab Pack-A-Punch and Cryo-Freeze. Okay, so I understand the private eye name. In the pack a punch name, but what's what's f femme fatale? Is that like a, a different language? I do not understand. And you know what? Let's try to grind this out here in uh, the power room because I've recently gotten over my uh, you know the curse of penthouse where I I can't survive in penthouse on D Machina, and I definitely want to try to do it here on. Oh my God! Hit a shot. I want to do it here in the power room on Mauer. Power on Mauer. If we ever do the Hauer shotgun, it better be power. Power, power on Mauer. Better be do it in the in the power room on Mauer. I'll be very disappointed if we do the Hauer like outside of that. But what I was saying was, I like feel like I can never survive in here, and I want to be able to say that I can. So I'll hang out down here for a bit. I kind of want to turn on the rampage inducer, but I don't want to press my luck. So I already kind of feel like I'm having a hard time getting these crits. Eh, actually, not that hard of a time. I'm not that far off from crits to normal kills. I guess we'll see if we can survive a Panzer in here. This dude is just tanking shots. You know what? Ring of fire. Tank this. Okay, now I'm definitely not getting, like, any crits. Oh, we got our Sunder camo. We're getting pretty close to our rapid crits. So we have to at least be getting a few. And we're already down in here. It's round 11. Joke's on them, though, because I can still use these while on the ground. Idiots. Not like I got per any perks to lose. They're already gone. I just stay on the ground the whole time. You get crits on the ground? Yeah, I think so. Let's see. Actually, I'm at 177. Oh, I'm out of ammo. Well, we'll have to test this another day. Zombies, please let me out of here. I'm scared. I need to go get something to give me back up. We'll upgrade our weapon real quick to blue. Zombie, stop it. Very rude to hit a man while he's in an armor stand. And you know what? Since we did upgrade Tombstone today, I'll grab it. I feel like that's the only way I can get myself back up anyways without a, a self-revive. So we still don't have quick revive leveled up. So come here, Tombstone. I'll grab Jug too. And Deadshot. Oh, uh, maybe we grab Speed Cola too. I don't know, maybe quick revive just for the, the health regen. I said I was going to try power room. I'm not, I'm not chickening out yet. It's literally round 12. I'd rather die down here than give up because if we die, then maybe I can just come back with one pistol and then the crits will be easier. Maybe I should start shooting one pistol until like I'm almost out of ammo with it and then start shooting the other one. I got to treat these like the AMPs or the Diamantes. So I'm like infinitely shooting. I just threw a decoy and not a single zombie even looked in that direction. That's fucked up. All right, disciple. We're, you're strong. We get it. But that was like the perfectly, the most perfectly timed nuke. Oh, I guess we did keep our perks after we went down. But it is only three. I feel like whenever I go down with a full set of perks, I only keep the three. I guess I'll grab it again since it saved my ass. I can't believe how often we're going down like under round 20. So I think as long as the disciple doesn't spawn, we got this. But how often is that going to happen? I feel like we start to get disciples like multiple times around. Once we, we get like past round 20. Okay. I think I got the, the reload cycling down for this right now. 
We're making it work. Cutting it close, but it's working for now. I do feel like we are extremely far behind on our jackrabbits, though. I don't remember the last time I got, like, at least three kills without getting hit. That's definitely going to be tough down here. On the decoy you go. Get away from me. And another decoy. Yeah, this is fucking tough down here. What the hell? Oh, wait. Let's, let's test. We're at 304 crits. 305, baby. It's actually optimal to go down if you think about it. Let's get ourselves back up. And we finally have enough for pack two, so maybe that'll help us out. Honestly, they didn't even need to add a challenge to this because I think these guns just suck. We're already struggling as it is. Oh, fuck me, dude. Really getting our money's worth with this tombstone. Okay, let's do it. Oh, I spawned pretty close to myself. Easy. I'm going to spend a collective, like... 100,000 points on Tombstone by the time this thing is done. Okay, Disciple. How many times are you going to fucking do this to me? He's getting old. Piece of shit. There, we took him out while we're on the ground. Easy. Now the zombies are actually just piling up on top of my corpse. Get the fuck away. I'll do this whole round down here. I don't care. Oh, wait. Yeah, I do. Fuck it. Stick the revive. We got it. Easy. Nothing to it. But if we go down here, it's game. It's game. Well... 701 kills, 411 crits, uh, no rev revives, which is a lie. I revive myself plenty of times in six downs. How can I have six downs and no revives game? Riddle me that. I want to see something really quick. Yeah, it still says I haven't played Maori Toten. Why am I un... Is it because I have like so many friends that outshine me on this map? Like it, it's almost like I never played it, but I am switching off a of dual wield and going to single pistol. I need them crits, which speaking of which, we're at a total of 637 out of 2,500. Damn. All right, let's try this again. It'll be different this time around because I am not staying in power room. I'm scared. We'll, we'll try to uh, survive power room another day. Today is not the day. No way, dude. I think I'm just destined to die a lot with this gun. I am woefully disappointed. So who the fuck are you, Gorev? I've never seen you before until this map and then you just chime into random shit. How are you even seeing what I'm doing? Do I got a GoPro on? Bro think he's part of the team. All right, now power's actually re-restored. It makes sense now. Now we'll sit in the superior spot, which is right here by Wonderfizz. Because if I ever do get attacked, I just take the zip line down and we're chilling. And this actually works a lot better for our jackrabbits. Like we already got our glitch camo. And we're all done with our jackrabbits. Oh, we're all done with our normal kills. Not time. Even now, after switching to like single pistol, this is still taking a long ass time. I only got 650 crits right now. And I'm pretty sure I need like double that. Probably even more. Because this gun just shoots so slow. Because I already got this thing like pack a bunch three. It's it's purple tier. It's not like all the way like up to its max potential. But it can't really handle like a, a big horde of zombies. This gun's just kind of like painfully mid. Oh, motherfuck. Well, let's see if Tombstone actually lets me keep all my perks. Come on. Yeah, see, I don't get to keep all my perks. False advertising on Tombstone. Motherfucker again. Round 26 is the wall for this, apparently. Yeah, none of my perks stay. Actually a useless perk. No. Did I actually just die right there? Oh, this is dumb. Well, that game, we only had four downs, so improvement. Yeah, we still need like about a thousand crits. I might just finish this on D-Machina. So I'm gonna go ahead and grind out these crits and I'll, I'll let you guys know when I'm done. Oh, we finally fucking got Gold Viper. I'm not gonna lie. This pistol, even fully upgraded to legendary, has been awful. You kind of forget how bad some of these guns are. Like, there's a reason I haven't come back to use this. This thing's trash. All right, zombies, take me out. I'm done. We even had to abandon Maori Toten because they just could not survive in that area. I was barely surviving here on D-Machina, but at least I'd like spawn more zombies over here. And we finished our final game with 1,400 kills, 910 crits, zero revives, and two downs. Now let's make sure that we did get this gold viper. Oh, thank God. Oh, wait, what other pistol did we do already? Oh, the 1911s. That's what we started with. So we're only one pistol away from getting Plague Diamond. That'll be our first Plague Diamond on this account. But anyways, let's go ahead, hop in game and see what Gold Viper looks like there. And here's what our Magnum looks like in game with Gold Viper. And honestly, it looks better than it plays. The revolver design is always going to be good. And Gold Viper actually has pretty decent coverage on this. But I would not want to use this in zombies again. This is probably like one of the worst weapons you can use. It's like sneakily bad. You wouldn't think like when someone brings up, oh, the bad weapons in zombies, you know, the ZRG, the, the Marshals, the Ironhide, all them. You got to give the Magnum its respect of being one of the worst weapons in the game. But I'm going to go ahead and end it there. I appreciate you guys watching and all your love and support. Uh, make sure you leave all your suggestions down below as well. Just a quick reminder. 
But uh, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.